It is 5.15 a.m. and I am here at Siri. With a population of about 500 residents, Siri is located in the Jirapa municipality here in the Upper West region of Ghana. Today on Tina Reports, we will take a day in the life of a rural girl. Come with me on this beautiful journey. I am here at the residence of Josephine Muku, and she'll be sharing her day with us. I understand she wakes up at 5.30 a.m. So let's go and wake up. Josephine's day typically starts early. She wakes up before 5.30 a.m. to help her mother with household chores and also fetch water from the ballroom for her household. Mind you, this is typical routine for most girls in Africa and it is not child abuse. My name is Josephine Moloko. I am 14 years old. I go to school at Siri M.A. Primary School. I am from Nandom in the Upper West region. The name of my parents are Mr. and Mrs. Moloko. I stay at Siri. I was staying at Kumasi, but because of some case, I went to my hometown. So I came back to here to school. My mother is in Edra in the Ashanti region. My father has died three years ago. When I'm leaving, I don't eat breakfast because as for here, we found once in a year. So we only eat twice in a day. So when we are coming to school, I don't like eating. So when I close from school, then I'll go and eat. That is why I don't always eat money. I have two siblings, one brother and one sister. My hobbies are ampe and I like to read too. I like to teach children. My favorite subject is science and English. My dream is to become a teacher because I want to teach children so that they can become a great person. I don't want to see children roaming outside, don't have a place to sleep. Aulado Ma Ernestina is my sister. She is 13 years old. She comes from Siri. I like her because she is kind and free.
Josephine spends time with her friends after school. She plays on a popular Ghanaian game with her friends. Tina Report is still spending a day with Josephine here at Siri. I hope you're enjoying the journey so far. Uh, we have to pause and surprise her. Uh, we have books. We have sanitary towels, we have washing powder, um, we have washing soap, biscuits, pens, uh, mackerel and something tomatoes for Josephine. Yeah, so to help me do that is Emmanuel. Emmanuel is a teacher at Siri Basic School, so he will do me the honor. On behalf of the head teacher of Siri Basic School, the teachers in the community and the family, my own accord. I say thank you to Tina and her team and God bless you people very much. You watch her cook or do her house chores and then take you through her dinner and how she sleeps, the time and everything. Don't go away. It's going to be interesting. After a couple of hours, she joined her mother to prepare dinner. Dinner was served after 9 p.m. and on today's menu is rice and tomato sauce. Since she took her bath before dinner, Josephine went to bed a few minutes afterwards. It was a long day here at Siri with Josephine, but trust me, because of her lovely activities, we never got bored here. And we are happy she was able to give you a show. I know you enjoyed every bit of it. This 
Estina Report, The Solutions Journalism. Catch you in the next episode. Please don't forget to subscribe because I have more to give you. <laughs>